Welcome back to All Black Everything, where culture and creativity meets connection. My name is Aaron. You can call me Chiz. I am back to you with another dope black owned product. Um, this particular product I ironically found while in the barbershop. I go to the barbershop at the Crenshaw Mall here in LA, and right next door to the barbershop is a black owned bookstore. And so this bookstore has books obviously but they also have other black owned products uh, but i was kind of perusing around and i saw a book a children's book that stood out to me um and I, my niece who is four she always um she's like into books besides being on her tablet and you know working on the technology side like most kids do nowadays um she occasionally has a book to read and so um i saw this book that stood out and i'll show you guys the book and the title of this book is called happy hair and so this particular book was a book written by a young lady by the name of Michelle Renee Rowe. And so Michelle Renee Rowe, she is um, she was born and raised in the Missouri area. I think um, it's more specifically Universal City, Missouri. Um, and she has always had a love for um, design and creativity. Um, she, I think her mother was also an artist and she kind of grew up watching her and what she did on the artistic front and she actually started to develop her own paper Barbie doll houses. Um, so basically making Barbie dolls, Barbie doll houses out of paper. And so that's kind of where her love for art and design grew out of. And eventually she went on to um, study more art in high school and then when she went to college she also um, you know, continued her, continued to follow her artistic passion. But Senator Kamala Harris wrote a book called Superheroes Are Everywhere, and Michelle was actually the person who did all the illustration um, on that book. What's interesting about that book is that it went on to be a number one bestseller. So this is where Michelle and her notoriety kind of blew up from being. Um, and a creator before doing the book, this book was what, you know, essentially got her over the edge. And Happy Hair um, is, if you can, you can probably tell by the cover, but Happy Hair is a book devoted to um, the hair of black children, of black, black girls and black women. And, you know, just being in the black community um, pretty much all my life, duh. But, um, you know, we know that sometimes, not all the time, young girls do face an issue with um, being so conscious about their hair. So books like this, you know, being made is pretty dope in my opinion because it shows um, that it's okay, you know, your hair is different and it's beautiful in its own unique way. And so these, this is why, um, this is what this particular book sparked up is out of a love um, for her own, Michelle's own natural hair and wanted to share that positivity and share that connection with your uh, black hair and making, making young girls feel comfortable with being in their own skin and, and, and with the hair that they're born with. And um, black hair is beautiful and you know one thing um, you know that I think this book is trying to do is spotlight and highlight the beauty in that. So I'll actually read to you the dedication that she wrote in the beginning of her book um, and it says this book is dedicated to every girl who has ever doubted her beauty her strength and her courageous spirit release her um, so this is pretty awesome and in the book she goes through different styles of black hair and you know what like different cool sayings to go with that particular picture and I'll actually show you uh, one of my favorite ones so um, if you go to Oh yeah, this is the first one. So for example, in this first page, as you can see the picture, and then on the side it says, smart girl, cool curls, I love being me. And so if you scroll through this particular book, you'll find all different, all these different pictures with different sayings. Um, and I think this is pretty awesome. And one thing I've kind of been reading online in regards to how most children and most parents have been reading this with their kids is that it's more so like a read aloud type of deal so you can you know teach your child how to you know read read by using this book but then also develop like a sense of self-confidence and you know self-confidence when it comes to their hair yeah. this reminds me actually of a book that girls were reading when i was growing up about a book by the name of happy to be nappy and that was a book that i remember all the girls in elementary school had this book and this actually I think sparked the movement and kind of led to the development of the way my generation thinks about their natural hair and books like that could you know there's no there's no data to show that you know the way women are now as far as being comfortable with their natural hair came from that book 
But I could probably guarantee you that, you know, some folks that have read that book have been able to take that throughout their life. And hopefully that, that that's the same with this book and for the newer generation and giving them that sense of, you are, you are beautiful in your own way and your hair is the most beautiful part of you and you can, you can be different and unique and switch it up. And so I think this is an amazing book when it comes to that and I, I recommend getting this for um, kids, grown adults, whatever, but this is a great gift again for anybody that's struggling with self-confidence in regards to their hair or a young girl that you want to inspire to continue to have a love for her natural hair and seeing someone that looks like you in a book is the ultimate the ultimate reason uh, for one one person to have self-confidence so and then she also has a spin-off book by the name of Cool Cuts. And so Cool Cuts is the vice versa to this particular book and it's highlighting black boys and the different cuts that they can have, whether it's a fro hawk, a mohawk, um, short hair. I don't know if they have a bald, a bald one in there, but shout out to little Bill, you know, that that's that's the OG bald um, you know, kid. But that that's also a book that you can give to your young boys in regards to um you know, helping them with their confidence as far as um, being comfortable in their own hair. So this, these books and Michelle did a great job of um, of highlighting these different stories and making sure to you know be inclusive in regards to helping our young black girls and boys be more confident in their skin and and more importantly be be confident with what what comes with 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 their um, heritage and with their culture. So of course I'm going to put a link of where you can buy the book in my description and you'll be able to look at her also her website that she has and you can buy cool cuts you can buy happy hair whatever the case may be but i think these are dope products that you definitely want to give to your kids or give to a friend's kids or whatever um but definitely something that i think even if they don't read it every day it's just something to have for them as a keepsake as they grow older in life and they can always refer back to this book and say you know what i love me i love my hair i love what it represents and i'm going to continue to wear it how i feel and so this is this is amazing and i, I think this is a must get also with the same with cool cuts thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of all black everything where culture and creativity meets connection let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about this product and feel free to comment some of your other favorite black owned businesses in the description. I'll make sure to look at them. Um, thank you again. I really, really look forward to the next episode. Again, happy hair of Michelle Renee Rowe. Michelle Renee Rowe, I'll put everything in the description. Go get yours today. Thank you so much. All black everything. Peace out. So casually keep diving into concrete Sweet, huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the